Good morning and welcome to everyone, especially our Zoom congregation and those joining us uh, by computer and those of you uh, here as we celebrate Holy Baptism this Sunday. Uh, our service begins on page four. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed, alleluia. There is one body and one spirit. There is one hope in God's call to us. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, ruler of all things seen and unseen, through your Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, you show your power and mercy. You cast out evil, tear down walls of division, comfort and challenge your people, and show signs of your kingdom coming into the world. Grant that we may lift up the discouraged, strengthen the doubting, and join with all who seek to thank you for your goodness. Glory be to you, O God, who with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Son together is worshiped and praised, one God forever. Amen. And on this Labor Day, let us pray. Almighty God, you have so linked our lives one with another that all we do affects, for good or ill, all other lives. So guide us in the work we do, that we may do it not for self alone, but for the common good. And as we seek a proper return for our own labor, make us mindful of the rightful aspirations of other workers and arouse our concern for those who are out of work. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Israel, listen. Our God is the Lord, only the Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your being, and all your strength. These words that I am commanding you today must always be on your mind. Recite them to your children. Talk about them when you are sitting around your house and when you are, when you are lying down and when you are getting up. Tie them on your hand as a sign. They should be on your forehead as a symbol. Write them on your houses, door frames, and on your city's gates. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Let us pray the psalm in unison. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. I shall keep it with all my heart. Make me go in the path of your commandments, for that is my desire. Incline my heart to your decrees, and not to unjust gain. Turn my eyes from watching what is worthless. Give me life in your ways. Fulfill your promise to your servant, which you make to those who fear you. Turn away the reproach which I dread because your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your commandments. In your righteousness, preserve my life. Our second lesson, a reading from the letter to the Romans. Don't be in debt to anyone, except for the obligation to love each other. Whoever loves another person has fulfilled the law. The commandments don't commit adultery, don't murder, don't steal, don't desire what others have, and any other commandments are all summed up in one word. You must love your neighbor as yourself. Love doesn't do anything wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is what fulfills the law. As you do all this, you know what time it is. The hour has already come for you to wake up from your sleep. Now our salvation is nearer than when we first had faith. The night is almost over and the day is near. 
So let's get rid of the actions that belong to the darkness and put on the weapons of light. Let's behave appropriately as people who live in the day, not in partying and getting drunk, not in sleeping around and obscene behavior, not in fighting and obsession. Instead, dress yourself with the Lord Jesus Christ and don't plan to indulge your selfish desires. Is saying to God's people. Each culpa should release videos with gays. Without the video, there's no trust. The mother of 26-year-old Miguel. First builders, here's Trent Erickson. And things are wet down the roadway. Pretty decent, just like that. And when you get up in the evening, so real problems on the Kennedy get found. The Eisenhower. Mm -hmm. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. You have heard that it was said, you must love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who harass you, so that you will be acting as children of your Father who is in heaven. He makes the sun rise on both the evil and the good and sends rain on both the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love only those who love you, what reward do you have? Don't even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers and sisters, what more are you doing? Don't even the Gentiles do the same? Therefore, just as your heavenly Father is complete in showing love to everyone, so also you must be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. As I shared earlier with the family and with uh, Sarah and Jake, I don't normally do a sermon during baptisms, but I write a letter to the baptismal candidates. So I'm writing one to the entire family. So listen in on this personal conversation I'm going to have with Sarah, Jake, and Frank. Dear Sarah, Jake, and Frank, everything happens for a reason, and we are grateful that God has brought us together. Sarah shared she did some research, found our website, and then she and Jake reached out to discuss baptism and joining our community here at St. James. In these days of COVID-19 and isolation, we all have been learning new ways to communicate and how to connect with each other. Sarah and Jake shared they liked what they saw on our website and our message. Love your neighbor, no exceptions. We live in a time where so many people are living in fear. Fear of not being heard, marginalized, oppressed, not being in control, fear of institutions, organized religion, media, and authorities, and government. 
The message of love is ancient. In Hebrew, it is called the Shema. Israel, listen, our God is the Lord, only the Lord. Love, your, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your being, and all your strength. When God came to earth and took on our flesh in Jesus, he continued to share the message of love. You have heard that it was said to love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who harass you so that you will be acting as children of your Father who is in heaven. Jake, you have made the decision as an adult to follow Jesus in the way of love. Sarah and Jake, you are making the decision on behalf of Frank to teach him to follow Jesus in the way of love. You will show that love to Frank and each other and to your families. And you will show Frank God's love in the world, in your work, and the people that you encounter each day. Jesus reminds us his love we show to the world is not merely a feeling, but it is a verb. Love is action. Love speaks out against racism, hatred, exclusion, and fear of the other. Love encourages inclusion, sees the blessing of diversity, and calls out the best in each other. God's love calls us to be the healing and hope and repair in our broken world. Baptism means that you will share Jesus' love along with us. I hope I did not lead you to believe that baptism is just some water and oil, a candle and some prayers. Baptism means you are going to be transformed by God's love to be Jesus to yourselves and to others in the world. Baptism means that you are part of God's great big family. And baptism means you are a part of this community and we commit to walking with you as followers of Jesus. So welcome, welcome, and may your lives never be the same as you follow the way of love. Amen. So if everyone would stand and gather, and we ask that you not uh, fill in the uh, aisle so that uh, Sue can take good pictures of us back at Zoom, but we're asking the parents and sponsors to join me at the uh, font, and if everyone else would turn and follow us. And Sue, is everything working out with the uh, sound system? Okay, good. We're experimenting. Not only is it COVID Baptism Sunday, it's working with our sound system. So, hi. We finally meet in person today. Hi, Frank. How are you? It's like, who's the best man? Yeah, well, you should be fine because I'm not going to have to hold you. So, all right. Well, uh, for our uh, sponsors and uh, for the family, um, let me make sure you guys have your, oh, you got yours already? Okay, why don't you get that ready, so we'll, we'll start us off here, so. The candidate for holy baptism will now be presented. We present, we don't read here, so. We present Jake and Frank Springer to receive the sacrament of baptism. Will you be responsible for seeing that you and the child you present build your spiritual foundation in the Christian faith and life? We will with God's help. And will you, by your prayers and witness, help yourself and this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? And do you renounce Satan and all wicked spiritual forces that rebel against God? And do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? 
And do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? And do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your savior? And do you put your whole trust in Jesus' grace and love? Do you promise to follow and obey Jesus as your Lord? Let us join with Jake and Sarah who are committing Frank and Jake, who is also committing himself to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. And will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will with God's help. And will you persevere in resisting evil? And whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord. I will with God's help. And will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will with God's help. And will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will with God's help. And will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? Let us now pray for Frank and Jake, who are to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver them, O Lord, before we get away from sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open their hearts to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill them with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep them in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach them to love others in the power of the spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send them into the world to, to witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring them to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. And we thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of the bondage in Egypt and into the land of promise. In it, your son, Jesus, received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen.
All right, Sarah, are you ready? Jake. Here's the shell and then oh. get some water in your shell there now. I baptize you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Here's a child for you. <laughs> you do great. Okay, now for Frank. Okay, Dad, your turn. <laughs> Hi, Sierra, how you doing? Okay, oh, it's gonna go fast, trust me. Guys, you the sun. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. There's that child right there for that. That wasn't too bad, was it? Okay. Now the oil. Then you just put your thumb in there and then. Yeah. Right here. Got it here, so. Um, so you are sealed by oh! the Holy Spirit. You're sealed by the Holy Spirit. Mark this Christ's own for us. Amen. Amen. And now you can do Frank. Frank, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism. And Mark this Christ's own for us. <laughs> Some of us come into the kingdom kicking and screaming. <laughs> oh, we forgot. See, can you hand me the light lighter? Oh, get... So we have the candle right there. We do have sprinklers in the in the building, so we're good. Okay. Well, let us welcome the newly baptized. Let us pray. Jake and Frank, we receive you into the household of God. I'm on page seven, folks. <laughs> Join me. This isn't just me. Okay, let's go. Let us welcome the newly baptized. Jake and Frank, we receive you into the household of God. Confess the faith of Christ crucified proclaim his resurrection, and share with us in his eternal glory. The peace of the Lord be always with you. So if you want to bring him down, we can show him here. There is a picture of them on the front of the cover without masks, so you can see what they look like. So, if you want to stand right here, you can show everybody on Zoom. Oh. Hey, Frank. Frank. Frank, over here. <laughs> yeah, he's interested in something else. That's okay. We're so glad you're with us, buddy. All right. That's the hard part. I don't get to hold. I don't get to hold the uh, 
the young one. So, all right. Well, you guys can go ahead and be seated, and everyone else, please be seated. Well, that was good. So that was our first COVID baptism. So it worked, it worked out well. So thank you, everyone. Especially Sarah and Jake, thank you so much for your help uh, as we uh, did this baptism today. Well, as we prepare our hearts to come to Christ's table, let us give as God has so abundantly given to us. And for our guests, um, all are welcome to Christ's table. And so uh, what we do here is that we will ask that um, that we'll, uh, let's see, I'm trying to take now a little off here. So as you, um, I'll serve the uh, folks up here first. And then uh, as Luke starts playing, uh, the usher will encourage you all to come forward. Uh, we ask that you keep six foot distance. We have crosses on the carpet. So but please come to the uh, altar steps and uh, extend your hand and I'll give you uh, bread. And then uh, as you consume, if you go through the library and back to your seat, we appreciate that. Thank you very much. And offering plate is up here. We aren't passing the plate, but if you have a gift, you can leave it right up here on your way to communion. And also, this is the first Sunday of the month, and uh, if you have an extra dollar to give uh, towards our first Sunday offering, those funds will be uh, collected this quarter for uh, the Illinois uh, Northern Illinois Food Bank. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right to glorify you, Father, and to give you thanks for you alone are God, living and true, dwelling in light, inaccessible from before time and forever. Fountain of life and source of all goodness, you made all things and filled them with your blessing. You created them to rejoice in the splendor of your radiance. Countless throngs of angels stand before you and serve you night and day. And beholding the glory of your presence, they offer your unceasing praise, joining with them and giving voice to every creature under heaven. We acclaim you and glorify your name as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And we acclaim you, Holy Lord, glorious in power. 
Your mighty works reveal your wisdom and love. You formed us in your own image, giving the whole world into our care, so that in obedience to you, our creator, we might rule and serve all your creatures. When our disobedience took us far from you, you did not abandon us to the power of death. In your mercy, you came to our help, so that in seeking you, we might find you. Again and again, you called us into covenant with you, and through the prophets, you taught us to hope for salvation. Father, you love the whole world so much that in the fullness of time, you sent your only Son to be our Savior. Incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he lived as one of us, yet without sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, to the sorrowful joy. To fulfill your purpose, he gave himself up to death. And rising from the grave, he destroyed death and made the whole creation new. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose for us. He sent the Holy Spirit, his own first gift, for all those who believe, to complete his work in the world and to bring to fulfillment the sanctification of all. When the hour had come for him to be glorified by you and uh, his heavenly Father, Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. At supper with them, he took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Father, we now celebrate this memorial of our redemption, recalling Christ's death and his descent among the dead, proclaiming his resurrection and ascension to your right hand, awaiting his coming in glory, and offering to you from the gifts you have given us, this bread and this cup, we praise you and we bless you. We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, and we pray to you, Lord our God. Lord, we pray that in your goodness and mercy, your Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts, sanctifying them and showing them to be holy gifts for your holy people, the bread of life and the cup of salvation the body and blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Grant that all who share the, in this bread and cup may become one body and one spirit, a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your name. And let us pray, remember Lord, your one holy Catholic and apostolic church, redeemed by the blood of your Christ. Reveal its unity, guard its faith and preserve it in peace. Remember Michael, our presiding bishop, Jeffrey, our bishop, and all who minister in your church. Remember all your people and those who seek your truth. Remember all who are in need, and may, be, and may we be reconcilers and healers as we share in Christ's ministry. And we remember especially Cynthia, Pat, Pamela, Tracy, Michelle, Judy, Marcy, Nick, David, Ruth, Jim, Kathy, and Julie. Remember all those who have died in the peace of Christ and those whose faith is known to you alone. Bring them into the place of eternal joy and light. And grant that we may find our inheritance with Blessed Mary, Saint Joseph, with patriarchs and matriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs, with Saint James and all the saints who have found favor with you in ages past. We praise you in union with them and give you glory through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, all honor and glory are yours, almighty God and Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. And now, as our David Christ has taught us with our holy faith, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. And this is a table not of the church, but of Jesus Christ. It is made ready for those who love God and who want to love God more. So come, you who have much faith and you who have little, you who have been here often, and you who have not been for a long time or ever before, you who have tried to follow and you who have failed. Come, not because the church invites you. It is Christ who invites you to meet him here. An act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. We love you above all things, and we desire to receive you for our soul. Since we cannot at this time receive you through bread and wine, come into our hearts. We embrace you because you said, wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of you. Unite us wholly to you. And let nothing separate us from the love of God. Amen. Let us pray. God of abundance, you have fed us with the bread of life and cup of salvation. You have united us with Christ and one another, and you have made us one with all your people in heaven and on earth. Now send us forth in the power of your spirit 
that we may proclaim your redeeming love to the world and continue forever in the risen life of Christ our Savior. Amen. And the blessing of God be with you. The love of Jesus fill you and the power of the Holy Spirit sustain you now and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Some brief announcements, uh, but Lou, come on up. You have a birthday coming up. And Lee Stiff, his birthday is on uh, September 12th. So, here, step down one. Yeah, just one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead. Let us pray. Oh God, our times are in your hands, and we ask you to look with favor on your servant, Lou. We thank you for his uh, talents and gifts of music. Uh, for his vocation of teaching, and we just ask you to bless him this year of new discovery, uh, minimize his stress at school, we pray, uh, but also just bless him that he will learn and discover new things this year as you lead him. And we give you thanks through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 How's school going? Um, it's it's fine. Fine. Yeah, good. All right. Changing, changing student lives. That's a good thing. So, all right. Uh, and everyone, please have a, a, a safe and enjoyable Labor Day. And again, welcome to all of our guests here today. We are so glad that you could join us as we uh, welcome the Springer family, uh, Sarah, Jake, and Frank as part of St. James now. So we're so glad that you found us and you are a part of us now. Uh, you're stuck with us. Isn't that great? I like that. All right. Uh, I'm going to be going on some staycation. So next Sunday, uh, Pastor Mike and Al McGinnis will be uh, leading worship. And then on the 21st to the 26th, uh, I'm disconnecting from church and hospital work. So uh, I just need a, a breather. So And then on Sunday, October 25th, uh, again, Pastor Mike and Al will lead worship. Uh, and then I'll be going back on a, a little staycation as we get ready to figure out what Advent and Christmas will look like. So you'll hear more about that later. So uh, we will be asking all of you uh, how you want to do Advent and Christmas, especially the Christmas Eve services, the masses here. Uh, we, we will plan on doing the regular two, if that's what folks want, but we will talk about 
uh, doing them on Zoom as well. So lots of things to think about this year. Uh, thank you for those who donate to the Flower Fund. Uh, if you continue, um, uh, please, uh, you can make your donations. Uh, right now we're just using the prayer plants uh, at the altar, uh, but we will be using those flowers for Christmas. Uh, as you want to make those uh, donations, we will include recognition of donations in the bulletin. Uh, Becoming Beloved Community, uh, Presiding Bishop Curry has called us, the Episcopal Church, the part of the Jesus Movement, to do the hard work to learn, understand, and being transformed in these times of racial uh, unrest. Uh, beloved Community was a phrase used by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr to describe the Christian community that Jesus calls us to, where we recognize the image in each other. So uh, I have reached out to the Anti-Racism Commission here in our diocese, and uh, Marvin Hill and uh, Bob Purcell are going to uh, join us in this conversation as we talk about uh, the issue of race and reconciliation in our time today. So uh, you'll be hearing more about that uh, uh, soon uh, as we uh, announce that uh, time and it will be a Zoom meeting. Have a secret. Can you all keep a secret? Uh, Mildred Camp uh, is going to be 99 this year on November 25th. She is our oldest living member and so we're going to do a card shower for her. Her uh, address is here in the bulletin so please take it home but it will be in the upcoming e-news updates. Uh, Mildred was baptized, confirmed, and married at St. James. She also taught Sunday school for about 26 years. Um, and she is just an amazing uh, encyclopedia of history of this community. And it's always fun to uh, chat with her. And uh, in the past, I've taken her a little chocolate cake and uh, a little lunch, but this year I'm only gonna have to do a I'm gonna drop off some chocolates. She likes chocolate, so um, she's gonna get some chocolates, but I hope that we can send her a shower of birthday cards, blessings, and greetings. So uh, that's in the bulletin, so you may wanna take that with you or watch for the news uh, coming up. Uh, we're going to try this some more. Uh, we've had uh, gift cards that you could purchase and donation goes to uh, the parish here. Uh, there are purple forms and some new uh, shop with script uh, forms of those people uh, or um, stores and businesses. Um, and so if you'd like to order, uh, David and I are ordering uh, $2,000 worth of uh, Lowe's cards because we're going to do some remodeling at the house. So um, the church will get 4% uh, of that back. And so um, if there's something that uh, you are purchasing or thinking of purchasing in the future, because uh, what, there's Target, Jewel, all of the uh, grocery stores are on here, uh, restaurants, um, TJ Maxx, all of those. So if you're interested, um, if you want to fill those orders out now, we will put the order in uh, later today. They'll be here next Sunday. Um, so we have those available for you to look at or take them home with you and uh, you can order later. Uh, we'll do some more ordering online, but this is another way we can help support uh, the ministries here at St. James. All right, is there anything else for the good of the congregation? I'm gonna go back and talk to our guests. Uh, thank you uh, to everybody on Zoom. Yes, too. Yeah, Sue and Vern were here for about two hours yesterday working on this. And as I said, it, we're bringing the 18th century into the 21st. So it's kind of cool. So we haven't done that in 156 years. You know, that's kind of cool. So blessings on all of you. Uh, and uh, have, again, a good Labor Day weekend.